Every child, during their normal routine care, gets a bilirubin for phototherapy levels. And what we do is we collect the direct or conjugated bilirubin drawn at the same time. In any child with a high level, we follow further and recheck it at two weeks. And if it's still high at two weeks, then we bring them in and we evaluate them for bilirubin. And so what we did in this study is we reported the very beginning of this prospective study of around 11,000 infants. And we showed that this test, this very simple test that's widely available and easy to interpret, has a high sensitivity, we already knew from our retrospective work, but importantly it has a very high specificity, 99.9% .9 on repeat testing, which means that the false positive rate is very, very, very low. And so putting this together, we're providing a very, very simple test to screen, potentially screen for biliary atresia, allow children to come to our attention very early, equip pediatricians with a tool so that they won't miss biliary atresia or delay the diagnosis. And then most importantly, to give children the chance for the operation before 30 days very early so that they can really realize the maximum benefit from the operation. So there have been some interesting, unexpected benefits of this work. And some of those benefits are the result of the tireless work that Dr. Harpovat has done educating uh, the community about biliary atresia, and in particular, uh, informing uh, pediatricians and uh, primary care providers about the relevance of the direct or conjugated bilirubin, which is oftentimes not understood and perhaps overlooked. As a result of this, we have seen children identified with significant liver disease like biliary atresia by providers who've heard Dr. Harpovet's work but are actually not part of this screening study. Um, in the field of immunizations, this is referred to as herd immunity, where you protect others who have actually not received the vaccine because of the general benefit of vaccination. And in this case, education has provided benefits independent of the actual uh, screening protocol.